subscriber one today I'll be making the newspaper tutorial, the newspaper transition. Uh, the preview was shown at the beginning of the tutorial. So what you do is you get your template. I'm going to use a template um, in the death edit like this. I have a blank template. This will be in the description below if you want it. Um, there was text here but I basically just masked this little blank bit out and then stretched it all the way over here so it's completely blank. But anyway, you have your newspaper here and then you will mask basically where the image is supposed to go. You can also put text up there but that's what I'll be doing afterwards. So let's do this. Okay, there we go. What you'll be doing is grabbing whatever video clip you want or an image. I'm just going to use an image this time. And I'm basically just going to slide it on, like, onto the beat. So first we're going to make sure that this is basically in line with this image here. And I think it's cropped for some reason, so I'm going to take that off. No, it's not. Okay, that's good. Oh no, I see what I did wrong now. I think I masked it too, too low. I'm going to put it like that. There we go, that looks better. I do have other pen templates that I'll be sticking down in the description below if you wanted. Yeah. I'm going to put this so it's, it's fairly centred, just get it the way you want it to look. <clears throat> and obviously it, it's going to look like this, so you're better off just masking the bit you want. So there we go. And then we're going to do this with the second clip, because I'm basically going to slide it like I did in the death edit. So we're going to do the same thing. There we go. We're gonna mask. Alright, another thing I'm gonna do is basically get a green screen. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to feather the mask. But if I feather the mask, it will show on the edges. So I'm just gonna block this because afterwards you're gonna render this anyway, so it doesn't really matter all that much. And by the way, I'm using a new mic, so I hope it's good. If it's not, then oof, I apologize. Just gonna see if this is in line. There we go. Come on. There we go, and then make the mask positive, or is it negative? It's negative. There we go. you can only see the mask. Now we're gonna feather the mask. The reason why we're doing this is because when you slide it there's no motion tile even if you add tiles or anything because you've masked it so doing this just makes it more smoother and cleaner instead of really rough. So while we're here, I'm just going to add text to the top. Let's just say newspaper. I spelled that wrong. Wow. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't really have like a good text at the moment so I'm just going to use one of these put it up here and then make the text colour black so it blends in there we go it doesn't it's not very close to the text so that's fine and now we're going to slide these to do that we obviously go to plumber curves Hmm. Yeah, 
flat mo curves. Uh, I might just skip ahead on this, so yeah. The next one. Um, the speaker is going to stop here. So the reason why I'm doing it like this is so the slide is like not too slow, and it's quite fast. So it's, it's still smooth because the movement is going, it's just more faster than it would usually be if I use my normal slide method. So doing it like this is uh, a lot better. So we're just going to see how that looks. See, look how smooth that is on the preview. I don't really have another one, so I guess, I guess I'll just do it like this. Okay. Do it like this. There we go. I'm keeping the green screen by the way because it makes things a lot easier. I think actually I'm going to change the colour because it's kind of the same colour as his eyes and I don't really want it to turn out like that. So if we choose a colour that's not really on there, I guess maybe purple would look good. Like a pink-ish. I'm pretty sure there's no pinks on here either. Yeah, so that's good. So what we'll be doing is render this so we'll render this and then we're going to animate it afterwards with warp transform I'll skip ahead to when that's done There we go, it's now done. I'm just going to move all of this out of the way. I'm not going to delete it just in case there's something you would want to change. It's always best to just highlight it with the highlighting key and then just move it over here. Okay, now we have the untitled one. Mm. Delete this audio track, we don't really need it right now. That's good. Alright, first thing we're going to do is get chroma key. And mask it. Mask it like this. And then put this back to high threshold. There we go. You can probably see some pixels, but that's just uh, the preview lagging a bit but there we go it is now just the newspaper and now we're gonna get our shake it, right now it's all about effects and trying to get this as smooth as you can so I'm just gonna add my effects before the transitions first so basically add the shake on the beats obviously so we'll do that now
There we go. Now I'm going to add brightness. I'm just going to skip ahead while I add my effects. You can slow down the video while this is sped up just to see what I'm doing, but it's not all that important really. Gonna add. I personally like adding warp bubble to my effects because it looks really clean to me and I realise that it probably doesn't look clean to other people so you don't have to add this. So now we have kind of like a basic transitions here and what I'll be doing is saving the project because I realised you just name it something, whatever. Now warp transform, I spelled that wrong, warp transform. I will be using the graphs in this one because I tried doing it without the graphs and it's just really hard. There is two, two ways to um, animate this, it's with 3D cam, which I already have a tutorial on, which is with 3D typo, or you can do it with a warp transform and you can use the graphs, which is something that I personally find way more smoother, so you just have to animate the X or Y and um, animate the swivel. Uh, I think first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna keep that, just animate all of those, but then add another one. Um, move the X shift, the Y shift, so that when you're zooming out, it zooms out from this clip. So it makes sure it's like in the middle. Move this this way. Move this down. There we go. So we're going to animate these. After this, when all the transitions are done, you can also add RSMB. You don't have to though, it's just also preference. Go. Bring this back to normal. Lock agent. These are all highlighted, which is why they look like this. Let's just do Y first. Just like that. Just keep in mind that if your line is always just a straight line, then it's not going to it's gonna stop moving really quickly. And you want to keep the mover going, so just lower it so it's not always in a straight line. There we go. It came out from the corner. Okay, now we are going to animate the rest of it. So the first beat is here. Go like th one or two keyframes back. Make well, no, three or two keyframes back. Drag all the keyframes here forward, go around one, two, three, three keyframes back, put the swivel to seven, maybe eight, zoom it in to six, put it up here, this looks around, this looks quite good, so we're just going to do this gonna make this split fade. Well I'm pretty sure all of this is gonna be locked agent. If you're wondering how I'm doing this I'm holding control. Now we're gonna go to the end. Not all the way to the end, just around like a three quarters to the end. And we're gonna zoom no, we're gonna zoom it out just a little bit. Put the swivel to round minus eight. The X shift like this. Actually, zoom it in a bit more. I 
can't actually remember how I did this. Okay. I think maybe zooming in out is probably a better idea. Yeah, that looks better. So we're going to keep it like this. This one's going to be a locked agent because there's not going to be anything after this, so there's no need to get it a split. Okay, here we go, so we're just going to animate this, make sure that the second lines of each transition is very short so the movement will keep moving. And the first transitions are like, not too fast, but they're still decently fast enough that it's not going to like be really slow. You can copy me. Um, or not, you can use your own technique, whatever. This is kind of similar to the typo tutorial. If you do this by mistake, press Ctrl Z and then go back to curves and click the one you were on. I know this is a really, this is probably going to turn out to be a long tutorial. Um, I guess I apologize for that. Make these rods really small, make this rod smaller, you can barely see it, there we go. And then for the end transition we're going to get a blurmer curves. There we go, come on, click and drag. Make it like a 0.8. We're going to drag it just to like one. One, two, three keyframes before one or two keyframes before this end one on the warp transform. And add another keyframe, make that a locked agent as well. Drag this up to around 1.5. And then we're gonna animate the zoom out here. Well, this is probably not gonna turn out as smooth as you want it to right now, it just takes a lot of fiddling with the graphs. But here we go. It's a bit too zoomed in so I might zoom it out a bit but this is basically the gist of what you want. If you want other animations you just fiddle with um, warp transform and you can add flickers, vinjit, so we'll do that now. Flicker. I have my own flicker settings. If you want to pause it, there you go. And vignet. Vin I don't actually know how to say it. This just makes everything better, to be honest. Radius and the location. So we want the location to be at here. Okay. For it to be fairly wide. Then we're going to move it down here. There we go. So you really just fiddle with it until you get something you like. There we go. There you go, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it will help you out in future edits.